believe my eyeshadow palettes are now here. This is my mama's makeup and crochet channel. Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share with you my unboxing, my assembly, and a little bit of an upgrade of this Sanyang multi-purpose drawer. Well, it's an upgrade for me. I know it's a matter of preference, but in my case, I wanted to change this uh, French walnut colored uh, drawer. Okay, so I used a wallpaper sticker to uh, change the uh, color of this uh, drawer. I got this from Shopee. It's 1,575 pesos, so that's around 32 US dollars. It's 40 by 40 by 62.5 centimeters, and it's made of laminated particle board. Here, I was just taking the parts out of the box. There's a list of parts included, so I was also checking if they're complete. I got the wallpaper sticker for only 109 pesos, so it's just around 2 US dollars, so very affordable. It's 45 cm by 10 meters and I also got it from Shopee uh, by the way Shopee is like Amazon or uh, Aliexpress where you can get affordable items and I think they have uh, operations in Singapore Malaysia Taiwan and Vietnam or Indonesia I'm not really sure anyway I will put the links of this drawer and wallpaper in the description box. Oh, I forgot to mention that I'm making this drawer for my eyeshadow palettes because my vanity cabinet is already overflowing so I thought it would be better if I would have a separate one just for my eyeshadow palettes. Here I'm just putting the wallpaper on the parts where I need them to go because I'm not really going to put wallpaper on all the parts just on the sides and edges that are showing on the outside by the way this wallpaper is really good for its price it's adhering to the boards well and it's very easy to use if you have an old furniture that is needing a makeover, you can maybe use this type of wallpaper to give it a new look. Putting the drawer handle is actually not one of the first uh, steps in assembling this furniture but I did that first because I got excited. <laughs> I'm putting on this wallpaper on one side of the drawer and as you can see it's really easy to do the uh, wallpaper is sticking well to the board I know that putting the wallpaper on is additional work but I really just wanna liven this uh, drawer up a little 
especially because it's for my eyeshadow palettes. And the wallpaper is done and now it's building time. By the way, the instruction sheet including in this Sun Yang drawer is very clear and the steps are really easy to follow. Of course, it's still time consuming but it's not that hard to build. At this point, my little girl, my two-year-old daughter is already complaining about the noise that I'm making. And of course, she also wanted to help, so I let her. As of this voiceover recording, my right hand is actually still really sore from all that twisting and turning of that screwdriver, making sure that the screws are really tight. And more hammering of course. Here I'm nailing down the bottom of the drawer. Almost done, this is the back part and the final piece to nail down. my eyeshadow palettes are now here so the first drawer all Jeffree Star Cosmetics so I have this uh, conspiracy palette blood sugar uh, what's cremated jawbreaker bloodlust and of course uh, blue blood there second drawer so uh, I have here this uh, supernatural join the hunt eyeshadow palette this is from hot topic okay uh, the quality is not really good but I bought that because I'm a big supernatural fan you know the, the, the TV show Dean and Sam Winchester and of course this one big fan as well so friends also from hot topic same thing not really a good quality eyeshadow palette but i'm keeping that so uh, this one is also supernatural from hot topic of course i have my naked cherry from urban decay and naked three from urban decay as well this one is from uh, BH Cosmetics, Take Me Back to Brazil, and the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe eyeshadow palette, and the James Charles X Morphe as well. And this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I have Nirvana and Amrezi. Okay, and this is uh, also from ABH. Sasha Beverly Hills. This is the vault. Okay, and let's see 
what they have here inside. And inside this vault is Modern Renaissance and soft black. And the last drawer. So we have here all Juvia's Place and Colourpop. I think I have 7 Colourpop palettes here and 11 Juvia's Place. Both of these brands have really good quality and they're very affordable. Okay, so I have here Colourpop, It's My Pleasure and Blue Moon and Double Entendre and Give It To Me Straight. color pop through my eyes perception and the Disney designer collection okay. and the rest are from Juvia's place so we have here the Nubian the warrior 2 the warrior 3 uh, the Saharan 2 the masquerade mini and the Magic Mini, the Zulu, the Tribe, the Festival, the Warrior, and what's that? The Nubian too. So uh, these are all my eyeshadow palettes. So it's just a really small collection since I have just started building up my makeup collection this year. All of these eyeshadow palettes that I have shown you from the first drawer to this last one were all bought in a span of six months okay so, so yeah i had fun doing some online shopping but hopefully i would be able to uh, restrain myself from buying more since i haven't even used all of these <laughs> anyway i think that's all for now thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. See you soon. Bye. Like if you like this video. Subscribe if you love it. Share if you care. Thank you for watching. Bye.